Welcome back everybody, I am the Neural and this is the Block Centric Server today with a less exciting intro because I am going to conduct a little experiment on this channel. So as you may be aware, uh, what the hell is this? Eh. As you may be aware, uh, th this, these videos don't get a lot of views now. That, that uh, doesn't particularly bother me, since I, the original plan for, for this channel was to have it grow and eventually provide me with some sort of income, since I, I am uh, still out of a job. I worked for about six months. Yeah, about six months uh, at a place. If you followed the the channel for a while, you'll uh, you'll remember that I had lots of problems there, and uh, I eventually, well, my contract uh, was terminated, and well, it was it was terminated not by my fault. It was originally only for six months, and I didn't actually make any particular efforts uh, to stay there. Now, as for the experiment, I want to turn uh, this channel into, well, I, I like Minecraft and I want to continue playing Minecraft, but instead of trying to um, get some amazing uber progress done and, and uh, actually put all the effort that I've and time that I've been putting into my videos I want to try to turn it in into what I had originally planned but was kind of scared to do it uh, we're gonna make a little path up here by uh, by the way we need a road to veer through this uh, through this uh, hill hill yeah that's what I wanted to say um, so, uh, so yeah. Uh, originally, I wanted this uh, this channel to be, well, uh, to be a place where I could, where I would discuss things uh, that interest me. But uh, then I, I thought, eh, the 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 age, the demographics for uh, for these videos aren't particularly uh, politics friendly. Uh, plus. If I get into politics, I'll probably end up losing more people than the ones I, I gain. But that doesn't seem to be much of a problem now, because my other channel, the Technical Neural, is doing... Well, I haven't put in a tenth of the effort in that channel that I have put in this one, and already I have... Uh, within two months, I have half the subscribers I have in this channel for a year and a half of yeah a year and a half of uh, lots and lots of effort and uh, the views I think uh, I must have more views on that channel more total views than in this one so I thought eh, what the hell I'll keep this channel the way I want I really want it and feel comfortable with so I want to address issues that, that actually that really concern me and uh, which I really like talking about. And one of those, or, or mainly, uh, right now is the situation in Ukraine. Now, why why Ukraine? I I mean, it's a uh, you may be wondering uh, that that thing. Uh, I mean, there's. Uh, there's Russia and the, there's Europe and then there's there's the government and there's pro-Russians and that's pretty much it. Well, uh, there's actually quite a lot to it and quite a lot more than than that. Let's just grab some materials here. Quite a lot more than than that, since if if I may remind you, the the people who are in the Eastern Ukraine, the the so-called pro-Russians, they are pro-Russians because the, they're ethnically Russian and culturally Russian. Uh, however, I sh I would like to remind you that these people, um, they're they're not exactly the ones that should be called separatists, uh, since 
the the current government actually did <laughs> actually did take power by via a coup so these guys are actually the the first ones to to start the process of cooing let's call it and let's uh, let's not forget that these people the the ones in the east in the donbass region actually had a referendum why do i ah there you go that's what i wanted actually had a referendum for their independence and no matter what anybody says once you have a, a free referendum and this one wasn't completely free si since there were uh, lots uh, of attempts uh, at um, uh, what what you gonna call it at hindering it uh, from the 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 far right government uh, still people decided no we we don't want uh, this government this government uh, made a coup and we're not really keen on that plus and this is a really big plus uh, and that's why I'm extremely worried uh, about this there are Nazis in the government not not like those and eh, we, we don't really like we don't really like niggers so so yeah I, I'm a, I'm a nationalist and so no the, these are full-blown flat-out Nazis I mean, look at the the, the government is compro comprised of uh, of two parties: the uh, Svoboda and uh, Pravi sector, uh, which is freedom and right sector. So, uh, especially the right sector people, uh, these guys are wow. The, these are dangerous, dangerous people. And I'm not too keen on having full-blown Nazis. They they support uh, Stepan Bandera, uh, which sounds like a, a Spanish name, admittedly. Uh, however, he was a, a strong supporter of uh, of Hitler's troops uh, while they they were in in Ukraine. And these guys walk around and and. Uh, and walk around with banners of Bandera, and, and it's just freaking... It's scary as hell. And I don't want these people next door to me. Uh, I mean, why w would anybody want these people here? Uh, well, I, I know why anybody would want them. <clears throat> Recently, I, I discovered that Monsanto... Uh, you know that that wonderful American company that that makes <laughs> that makes the the weirdest science fiction books uh, sound way more true than than they should ever be. <laughs> uh, Monsanto ha has already acquired land in in Ukraine, so th this is why the European Union and the United States are uh, vastly interested in in the this uh, far right uh, government it's to to buy off the country uh, at <laughs> at sales prices like like what they did with with Portugal and we our our electricity was sold which when a country isn't uh, in control of its own power supply uh, i would say that that's pretty much a strategic no no uh, but, but still, it happened. Okay, let's get some slaps here. Still, it happened. <laughs> and th that's what's going on in the Ukraine. Now, one thing I did find out is that the government... Well, of course it lies, but it, it, uh, it gives off some pretty interesting lies to its own soldiers. They're conscripting people. Kids, little kids. As as young as 18 years of age, um, they're being conscripted uh, forcefully under penalty of 30 years in prison. Yeah. If you don't go to war, you'll spend 30 years in, in prison. Let's uh, let's grab some more slaps. And w one of the things that they tell the these kids when, when they're sending him sending them off somewhere to to be killed by the militia. Uh, is that, and we'll get to the militia, is that um, 
they're going away to find uh, to get some some injured people uh, yeah some injured soldiers and before they know it they're in the middle uh, of the the battlefront <laughs> that that's a that's a pretty interesting scenario there whoa what the hell thank you that's a pretty interesting scenario i forgot the the plane slabs there you go it's a pretty interesting scenario to to see that the government needs to to lie to to their own uh, soldiers to to get them in the battlefront because none of them want to be there they're there forced <laughs> and the militias oh man, these militia are um, are actually pretty amazing folk these guys uh, I've watched some of their propaganda videos and um, what they say is that they invite the the conscripted soldiers to join them they appeal to them if they appeal to them not to go to war so to go home if they they do go to war if they can't help it or if they're scared that their families will be persecuted if if they uh, if they desert is that the term desert desertion for desertion i think it is if they're they're scared, they're more than welcome to join the the militia. They'll take care of them. They'll uh, they'll deliver them back to to their families. And there are there is place in Donbass for their families if they're scared of being persecuted, which the the right sector Nazis uh, tend to do, uh, especially the right sen uh, sector Nazis, but also the government through the through the courts. So. Uh, they, the, this is the stance of the militias. They appeal to the conscripted soldiers and to the population in general uh, to think for themselves, to see the incongruencies in the, the government-controlled mass media and, <clears throat> and actually try to think. Try to think and acknowledge that uh, the government has already lied to uh, to them vastly. I mean, uh, taxes have uh, have gone up way way more uh, way higher than with the previous ruler uh, Yanukovych was uh, during his reign. And keep in mind, I am not defending Yanukovych. This is this is a main. This is one of the main issues. People tend to think that the pro-Russians are supporters of the previous corrupt government. They are not. They are not. The previous government w was was corrupt. They, they were a, a bunch of, of freaking oligarchs uh, uh, stealing from from the people. But that was what they had when the the Euro Maidan movement began in that square Maidan that very very known square um, people the those who are now the separatists were there too initially because they they wanted the the government out uh, except the the right sector nazis and um, and the svoboda the also far right uh, extremists there are a few nazis there as well uh, they took over the, that movement, and uh, of course, the, this had uh, tremendous help from uh, from organizations like uh, like the the CIA, for instance, or, or the NSA. I, I'm not too uh, too sure. Uh, there, there, there's been so, some some documents, uh, some evidence re released in that regard. At least the the modus operandi is uh, exactly the exactly the same as in let's say uh, venezuela from, for example it, it's the the same kill uh, uh, kill protesters uh, snipe snipe protesters Th this was a, a tremendously effective technique in venezuela in recent coup attempts uh, which were later debunked uh, like and it was proven that it, it wasn't the police the, that was uh, that was shooting protesters uh, let's put you there. Uh, looks to be looks to be all right to me. 
it was proven that it wasn't the police uh, murdering protesters. It was it was uh, snipers and um, some of them CIA. Uh, there were CIA agents involved. There were also mercenaries. Uh, there are always lots of mercenaries uh, in this sort of uh, this sort of uh, situation. So this this to uh, to say that that um, that there 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 was never any pro government pro previous government stance from from the militias. What they do not want and what they're scared of. The, this is what we have to to uh, make a real effort to understand. Is that these people are fighting to the death uh, because they are scared that Nazis will be in control of the region where they they live. Now you put yourself in that situation, and I pretty much guarantee that. Well, unless you're a Nazi, in, in which case, fuck you. Um, but um, I, I can pretty much guarantee you, you would do one of two things: run. Or fight to the death. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Run for your life or fight to the death. And that's exactly what these people are, are doing. And uh, uh, l let me see uh, how long the, this video's been uh, been going for. I think it's about, what, 12, 13 minutes. I'm gonna check and see if there's still anything else I can do here. Well then, now is time for a little disclaimer. Uh, although what I said may may have sounded like I wasn't going to have any progress done in, in my uh, in the videos from here on out, uh, that that's not what I meant. Today I am not uh, making a lot of progress because well I didn't have uh, enough time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's kind of weird. I think I I may. Uh, I may make that a little bit narrower, um, but that's not go gonna be it. I may ha do uh, more post commentary to uh, to uh, because it's really hard to remember all the facts and explain everything uh, the way it should be explained w when I'm building and talking at the same time. And this way, I'll, I'll be able to express myself better. Uh, now, I am going to invite you, uh, if you're interested in the topic uh, I've been talking about, I will invite you to check out one YouTube channel. There are uh, quite a few of them, uh, but the uh, one YouTube channel the, that uh, is uh, that shows directly what the the militias are uh, are all about, uh, which is uh, <laughs> ironically it's uh, fallen U.S. soldiers. I'll leave a link in the description if I if I remember, uh, which uh, has a lot lots of amateur videos and. Uh, it's not really uh, mass media, so ma mainstream media. Uh, you can see the the separatists talking to you, to and to everyone else. Uh, secondly, uh, I would like to remind you: if you're European, if you're American, if you're whatever, don't take it personally when I when I uh, when I speak poorly uh, about your country or or your region. Uh, I hate the European Union. I, I completely hate it. I'm in it. Uh, I uh, I don't hate Europeans. I hate the European Union. Like, I don't hate Portuguese people. I'm Portuguese. I hate my government. Uh, and I think the, they are as close to fascists as can be uh, without actually being. Uh, so, so... Oh, the same goes for Americans. Uh, of course, I don't hate Americans. I hate America. The, the, that's my my stance. I don't hate religious people. I hate religion. The, these are my stances on uh, on the subject. So so don't don't feel insulted by by this. If you do, I am very sorry. The, this is not my my intention. I try to make it a very clear point uh, that I don't hate uh, I don't hate people I, I hate ideologies concepts uh, and actions. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be it for for today. Next episode, uh, we're probably gonna start going with some plots for the magical things or 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 no oh, maybe the mines maybe the mines will, will be better and trying to steampunkify this region a, a little bit better so that's going to be it for today thank you very much for watching please do do leave a comment tell me what, what you think of the matter and until next time as always i have been the neural and i hope you have an awesome day